Hello everyone, my name is Alan from Alan Way Property. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm very excited because I'm going to share with you an upcoming new launch of freehold condominium in the East. Today's topic will be a review of Tiam Siu Avenue, a freehold condominium currently is known as the Continuum. Let us dive straight into it. Ho Hub and Sunway is the joint venture partner for this development. They secured this freehold site in 2021 through a public tender. This is the location map of Tiam Siu Avenue. This site comprises two freehold sites sitting between Head Road as well as Tan Chong Katong Road in Prime District 15 in the east. It was sold for $850 million to a joint venture partner between Hop Hub Reality and Sunway Development. In terms of proximity, it's very near to Dakota MRT Station as well as Paya Lebar MRT Station in the north. There are a lot of good schools around the vicinity and also near a lot of eateries. This transaction comprises 22 freehold residential plots with a total land area of 263,000 square feet. This property are zoned residential with a plot ratio of 2.8 on the master plan 2019. Based on the sales price of 850 million and a further estimated development charges of approximately 284 million, the land price worked out to be about 1488 PSF PPR. If the price includes an estimated 39 million for 7% balcony space, the land price worked out to be about 1440 PSF PPR. So here, this is the location map of the site. It's within a lot of good schools. Within 1km, we have Guanghua, Tanjang Katong Primary School, Haig Girls. And within 2km, we have Geylang Methodist School, CHIJ Katong Primary, and Taonan. These are some of the photographs I took when I was there last week. It comprised mainly single-story detached houses that sit on each of the 22 plots along Tiam Siu Avenue. And behind all these condominiums are fronting Ipoh Lane. They are mainly freehold condominiums. Tiam Siu Avenue is a quiet and serene place. If you happen to be here, you can really feel the East Coast breeze as well as the Tanjong Katong vibe there. It's a pretty nice place to stay in the East. Here, I will use HPROP to calculate the future selling price for this site. Based on the break-even price of 2296 per square feet, if I add another 15% as profit margin, the future selling price will be around 2640 per square feet. And these are my estimates. Take note, these are not the developer price yet. Please wait for the developer to release the official price. But just for an estimate, a one-bedroom apartment measure 500 square feet based on a higher per square feet of 2008 per square feet, future selling price likelihood from 1.4 million. A two bedroom measure around 700 square feet from 1.9 million. Three bedroom at 1,100 square feet from 2.9 million. And four bedroom with a floor area of 1,003 square feet, likely price around 3.3 million upwards. Next, we shall go over to Jalan Tembusu. Tembusu is a government land sale off Tanjong Katong Road. This site measured 19,000 square meter and was sold to CDL for 768 million. Take note, there's also another future government land sale to be launched in November 2022. This site measured 2 hectares or 20,000 square meter and can build up to 825 units. This is the future site next to Head Court. Head Court is a freehold 360 units development. And in this notice board, it really stated four blocks of 20 to 31 storey apartments comprise 638 units and one block of five storey multi storey car park with landscape deck and a common basement car park. So, going forward for Jalan Tembusu, the break even price is $2,059. Future selling price likelihood will be $2,368 per square feet. Here, CDL is a household name, so I assume that because of their brand name, they could potentially be selling even higher than this price. Next, a price government land sale along Diamond Road was sold to Singhai E. This site was sold for $1.284 billion. This site is also near to the Dakota MRT station and the Old Kalan Airport Worker Center. This site measured 25,000 square meter. It was sold in June this year 
to Singh Hai E and Partners for 1.238 billion. These are some photographs I took along Diamond Road. The land is huge and it's very spacious and I think can accommodate easily 1,000 units going forward. So what is the future selling price for this Diamond Road site? I use HPROP again. Break-even price 2120 per square feet. If I add another 15% profit margin, future selling price 2438 per square feet. So here, I'm also going to discuss the existing new launches prices as well as the take-up rate in the D15 area. So to give us a better perspective on prices around this area. Firstly, we have Amber Park, a freehold development by CDL. 592 units, 98% sold. Average price 2483 per square feet. Next, we have Mayor Mansion by Quacoland. Freehold development, 200 units. It's almost 95% sold. Average price 2683 per square feet. Lastly, we have Leaf at MB. 99 years by Sambawang Land. 298 units. 80% sold, average price 2417 per square feet. So what does this mean? It means there is a demand for Eastside homes and the going rate is ready from 2400 per square feet. Next, I'm going to compare the resale condominium price just to give you a better understanding on the prices around the vicinity. Firstly, we have Park Place Residence, 99 years from 2015, 429 units, average price 2131 per square feet. Waterbank at Dakota, 99 years from 2009, 616 units developed by UOL, average price 1688 per square feet. Next, we have Versailles on Hague, freehold development, TOP in 2010, 128 units, average price 1672 per square feet. Here, we also have the Sea View. Freehold, TOP in 2008, 546 units, average price 2219 per square feet. And lastly, we have Seaside Residence, 99 years from 2016, 841 units, average price 2083 per square feet. So over here, what can we conclude here? The most comparable property to compare, I think is a freehold sea view, as well as the 99 years Seaside Residence and Park Place Residence as they are newer and bigger project. The freehold sea view is currently going at 2219 per square feet. I mean, how can the new launch condominium in the east be selling cheaper than an older resale condominium? The 299 years condominium which is already trending at 2001 per square feet, I think a 20 to 25% premium for a freehold condominium, I think is still a fair amount. Here, let me sum up all the upcoming new launches again. We have Diamond Road by Sing Hai E, 99 years. It can build up to 1,000 units. Going forward, the selling price will be 2438 per square feet. Jalan Tumbusu by CDL, 99 years, 638 units. Estimate selling price 2368 per square feet. And lastly, we have Tiam Siu Avenue by Hot Hub and Sunway. Freehold development, 800 units. Estimate selling price 2640 per square feet. So going forward, will there be a demand for freehold condominium at 2640 per square feet? Is it too expensive or is it still affordable? Let us run through some numbers. If we compare Tiam Siu Avenue versus Diamond Road 99 year side, this means that Tiam Siu Avenue has an 8% premium in terms of pricing to a 99 year leasehold site in Diamond Road. And we will use the same calculation Tamsil Avenue has a 15% premium against Jalan Tembusu CDL project by 15%. So in short, a 8 to 15% premium for freehold properties against upcoming 99 years leasehold property. Do you think is it fair? Going forward, there is also a low inventory of new homes today. So I foresee a high demands for east side properties. Going rate. I think will be 2,500 per square feet going forward. So for Tiam Siu Avenue, I'm going to do a SOAP analysis. In terms of its strength, its freehold, very rare, big site, 
263,000 square feet, superior location near top schools. The winners, high entry price and also possible low rental yield because of the high PSF. Opportunities, freehold prices will hold very well in the long term and moreover, there's very limited new freehold supply in the vicinity. What are the threats? Upcoming supply, market risk, as well as policy risk. Lastly, I'm going to do an assessment of the continuum. I think this project is suitable for buyers that want to buy only freehold and big development. Small units will attract singles, dings, investors. Bigger units will attract affluent buyers for their own stay. And also for buyers that want to leave a legacy for their children. Suitable for D15 and D16 lender owners that wish to downsize to a condominium. And also for on block owners who are looking for replacement properties. Here, let's hope the developer don't price the project too high so that everyone can win from it. Here, we have come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't mind, please help me to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel, as well as to share with all your friends and relatives who are interested to buy a D15 condominium going forward. By the way, my company is also the marketing agent for this development. If you wish to find out more, please feel free to contact me in the description below. That's all for today. Hope you enjoy my humble sharing and see you in the next video.